U.S. help Taiwan avoid fight against China in South China Sea. Says Pentagon spokesman, the U.S. Defense Secretary Mark Esper expresses concern over destabilizing activity in the vicinity of Taiwan and also the South China Sea region in recent weeks. Spokesman also say, Mark Esper also called on Beijing to share more of its data on COVID-19 or coronavirus pandemic. China's Defense Minister Wei Feng and his the United States counterpart Mark Esper warned each other in a phone call about escalating risks over Taiwan and the South China Sea territory. The warn appear in the highest level the U.S. and China talks since state leader Yang Jiechi met the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo in Hawaii in mid-June ago. The Pentagon spokesman, Jonathan Hoffman, told reporters in Washington on Thursday, Esper expressed concerns about the Chinese militaries destabilizing activity in the vicinity of Taiwan and the South China Sea region. And Mark Esper also called on China to honor international obligations as well as share more of its data on COVID-19. Hoffman said that didn't happen and we expect them to continue to improve their information sharing in regard of that. There are obligations that the Chinese government is under responsibility for with regard to the World Health Organization agreements, so they have a mean to provide samples to provide data, he said. Hoffman said, adding that the call lasted about 90 minutes, the United States Defense Secretary also affirmed the principles and importance of constructive, stable and result-oriented defense relationship between the United States and the People's Liberation Army. The conversation took place amid growing concerns about the possibility of a hot war between the two powers, the U.S. and China, especially over the South China Sea. According to the Beijing-based South China Sea Territory Strategic Situation Probing Initiative, the United States has sent 67 large reconnaissance planes to the contested region in July ago. And this and this is a sharp increase of the on the previous two months. The according to the think tank, on at 9 p.m. on Wednesday, the United States Air Force E-8C plane was detected in an area close to the southern province of Guangdong. This matter was in addition to seven E-8C surveillance craft sightings near the Chinese coast in July ago, which it said represented an upgrade of battlefield construction and territory. Meanwhile, China's state news agency Xinhua confirmed that Taiwan and the South China Sea region were on the agenda.
and that way also warned Mark Esper against dangerous moves that would escalate bilateral tensions. We also laid out for United States Secretary of Defense Mark Esper the Chinese government's position on Washington's stigmatization of China, according to Xinhua, which said that the U.S. side requested the call 